Hi, I'm Libby. Welcome to my Grocery X Learn English podcast. Today we gonna talk about what is the importance of SEO in blogging. A. Explanation of what SEO is. SEO, or search engine optimization, is the practice of optimizing a website or blog to improve its visibility and ranking on search engines like Google, Bing, and Yahoo. B. Importance of SEO in blogging. SEO is crucial for bloggers because it helps them reach more readers and increase their online visibility. By implementing SEO strategies, bloggers can drive more traffic to their website and improve their chances of appearing on the first page of search engine results. 2. Understanding search engine algorithms. A. Explanation of how search engines work. Search engines use complex algorithms to index and rank websites based on a variety of factors, such as content relevance, quality, and popularity. B. Importance of keywords in SEO. Keywords are one of the most important factors in SEO because they help search engines understand the topic and content of a website. By including relevant keywords in their blog posts and pages, Bloggers can improve their chances of ranking well on search engines. 3. On-page optimization. A. Explanation of on-page optimization techniques. On-page optimization refers to the techniques used to optimize the content and structure of a website or blog. B. Importance of titles, meta descriptions, and header tags. The title, meta description, and header tags on a website or blog play a crucial role in on-page optimization. They provide search engines with important information about the website and help to improve its visibility. C. Best practices for optimizing content. Best practices for optimizing content include using relevant keywords, creating high quality and engaging content, and ensuring a fast and responsive website design. 4. Off-page optimization. A. Explanation of off-page optimization techniques. Off-page optimization refers to the techniques used to improve the visibility and authority of a website or blog through external sources, such as backlinks and social media. B. Importance of backlinks and link building. Backlinks are important for SEO because they indicate that other websites consider your blog's content to be valuable and credible. By building a strong link profile, bloggers can improve their visibility and authority on search engines. C. Best practices for building a strong link profile. Best practices for building a strong link profile include creating high quality and shareable content, reaching out to other bloggers and websites for backlinks, and participating in online communities and forums. 5. Measuring and analyzing results. A. Explanation of how to measure SEO success. Measuring SEO success is essential to understand the effectiveness of your SEO strategy and make improvements. B. Importance of using analytics and tracking tools. Analytics and tracking tools are essential for measuring SEO success and understanding your audience. By monitoring your website's traffic, bounce rate, and conversion rate, you can make data-driven decisions to improve your SEO. C. Understanding and interpreting data. Understanding and interpreting data is crucial to make informed decisions when it comes to SEO. By analyzing the data provided by analytics and tracking tools, you can identify areas of improvement, track progress, and make adjustments to your SEO strategy. 6. Conclusion. A. Recap of the importance of SEO in blogging. B. Call to action for readers to implement SEO strategies in their own blogs. C. Mention of the ongoing nature of SEO and the need to continually adapt and improve strategies. D. Final thoughts on the benefits of incorporating SEO, such as increased visibility, traffic, and ultimately, success for the blog. In the introduction section, The blog could start by defining what SEO is and why it's important for bloggers to understand and implement it in their content. It could then provide some statistics or examples to emphasize the significance of SEO in today's digital landscape 
and how it can impact a blog's success. In the Understanding Search Engine Algorithm section, the blog could delve into the technical aspects of how search engines work and the role that keywords play in determining a website's ranking. It could also provide tips on how to conduct keyword research and incorporate relevant keywords into the blog's content. The on-page optimization section could cover different techniques and best practices for optimizing a blog's content and design for search engines. This could include information on optimizing titles, meta descriptions, header tags, and other on-page elements. The blog could also provide advice on creating high-quality, engaging content that appeals to both readers and search engines. The off-page optimization section could focus on the importance of building a strong link profile and the impact of backlinks on a website's search engine ranking. The blog could provide information on link building strategies, such as guest blogging, directory submissions, and social media marketing, and advice on how to acquire high-quality backlinks. In the measuring and analyzing results section, the blog could discuss how to track and measure SEO success using analytics and tracking tools. It could also provide guidance on how to interpret and make sense of the data collected, and how to use it to make informed decisions and improve future SEO strategies. Lastly, in the conclusion section, the blog could summarize the main points discussed and reiterate the importance of SEO in blogging. It could also encourage readers to start implementing SEO strategies in their own blogs and remind them that SEO is a continuous process that requires ongoing monitoring and improvement. Thank you for listening to Grocery X Learn English Podcast. Dot, if there's a topic you'd like me to talk about in a Furyut episode, just send an email to info at grocery-x.com and see you next time. Please like share and subscribe my channel.